The building has an obvious presence and people are asking questions about what's going on in here. You just see it glinting in the light. It's probably not like any other building. There's something greater out there that we all aspire to. We're going to do something that nobody else is doing in the world because we have these facilities. We are a community who used to be in small rooms and different parts of the broader Brisbane scientific campus and now we're together. We can do five things in a day now that we would have had to have spread across a week. It's been designed around the idea of collaborative research. It brings together groups of researchers who wouldn't have previously been together. I think if it was going to happen without this building, it would already have happened. It's transformative in so many ways. It reveals the power of architecture. In the summer, it was, a, it was an oasis. It was like clearly like five degrees cooler than Brisbane was outside. To have the trees and the birds and everything here, I find it quite relaxing. On arrival, I think there is almost a sense of joy that you arrive in a garden rather than into a hallway. It's a very different work environment, it's a very different work ethic here and I think um, the innovation of the place really was what I liked and I think that inspires my work. There's a spring in my step, it permeates my day. It almost uplifts you. Their behaviour in the space has changed. It's really made a, a huge difference, we like coming to work. I look at all the other floors as I walk around the building and I think these guys are part of my greater team now. And you can easily visualise other labs, which makes them somehow more accessible. Just to be able to move from one end of the building to the other without taking any lab coats off was critical to this building working properly. I think that's really what brings this building together, are those really nice meeting areas that you can come together and, and talk about it, because that's really where a lot of the networking occurs. And they meet with people that have completely different perspectives on things. And those meetings trigger off new ideas, and it's new ideas that really make the breakthroughs in research happen. It occurs at lunchtime, it doesn't occur in a formal environment. The excitement in our group spills over into the module next to us and then their excitement spills over into ours. Very different from where we were. I was sharing a cupboard called an office. This place is like an enormous, magnificent hotel, but it's a permanent home for scientists and it's just changing the way that we do things. I think it's actually exceeded our expectations. I'm still stunned when I come in here and um, it never ceases to amaze. It just can't be ignored. It's enormous and it's beautiful. You can see through to the sky and it almost looks like a light bulb. We're all having ideas with light bulbs above our heads. It's definitely the best building I've ever seen designed in Australia for science.